We're going to speak now to a former congressman and also the uh, former chief judge at the World Trade Organization, Jim Back, is now Global Practice Chair. Uh, Greenberg Torig joins us live from Washington, D.C. this morning. Mr. Back, it's great to have you back on the program. First off, uh, how do you see the Taiwan elections? Well, most of the attention in the United States is, of course, focusing on the New Hampshire primary, which is uh, going on even as we speak. But uh, I think of great importance uh, is the Taiwanese presidential uh, election. Uh, frankly, there's not too much attention being uh, focused on that election in the United States, and I think that's uh, unfortunate because I think it's an important one uh, for the future of Taiwan and also for the entire Asia-Pacific region. Well, it looks like the elections have uh, really gone down to the water. So I'm saying it's too close to call at this point between Ma Yingjiu and his, uh, his, of course, his competitor, uh, Tai Ing-wen. Does it matter to you and, and the global economy as to who wins this election? Who would be better? Well, I'm not going to tell the people of Taiwan uh, who should, they should vote for for president. I hesitate even to do that uh, to my fellow Americans here in the United States. but. I, I will say that, in my view, uh, whoever wins the election in, in Taiwan, uh, I think Taiwan will continue to progress uh, economically and, and succeed economically. Uh, I'm not certain that commercially, ultimately, it will make too much difference uh, who happens to win this particular presidential election in Taiwan. Is that true, Mr. Backus? Because some are saying, because of the closer relations with China, we've seen, uh, say, an increase in economic production out of Taiwan. That, that's thanks to Ma ying But the uh, challenger, Tsai Ing-wen, and the DPP saying that if she gets into office, she'll probably want to reel some of that back because some of the jobs from Taiwan have gone uh, to the mainland. Uh, some are saying that uh, the challenger herself might be detrimental to uh, this, these relations between China and Taiwan. Well, as you know, a strategic economic uh, arrangement was put in place in 2010 between Taiwan and the mainland, and much has resulted from that. About 700 different kinds of tariffs on goods and services uh, have been uh, reduced. Uh, we've seen additional maritime shipping links, many uh, more direct uh, airline uh, flights, uh, postal links, uh, investment restrictions being lifted, and much more. Some of that could be rolled back if the DPP wins the election, but I, I really think that it's uh, likely that uh, uh, Taiwan and the mainland will continue to increase and intensify their economic relationship going forward. And the only question will be the pace and the extent of the economic engagement. Uh, so far as the United States and Taiwan are concerned, uh, there are implications to uh, China's rising importance as a trading partner uh, for Taiwan. Okay, and what about, uh, I guess, the relationship between the U.S. and Taiwan? We know that's a long-standing one over the years. Do you think that might change depending on who might get into office? No, I don't. I, I think that the United States uh, uh, view of Taiwan won't be altered by uh, who happens to be president of Taiwan at any particular time. There are long-standing uh, political, strategic, uh, commercial and moral uh, reasons why the United States supports Taiwan. When I was uh, in the Congress, I was a strong supporter of the terms of the Taiwan Relations Act of 1979 and all its uh, uh, progeny, as we lawyers say. Uh, I think the relationship is solid and will be sustained. But I think we've seen an evolution in the commercial relationship between the United okay. States and Taiwan, uh, just as we've seen an emer emerging uh, relationship uh, between Taiwan and the mainland. Right now, the okay. two-way trade between Taiwan and the mainland is about $120 billion a year, and that's twice the amount of the two-way trade between Taiwan and the United States. Okay. Uh, Mr. Backus, we've got to leave it there, but thank you so much for your time. Jim Backus, uh, the former uh, chief judge at the World Trade Organization and a former congressman in the U.S. joining us from D.C. this morning.